today's topic is significant figures. How do I determine the number of significant figures in a number? You may be wondering. It's simple. There are some fo follow some simple rules. Rule number one: All non-zero digits are important. That means that all non-zero digits are significant. What are non-zero digits? You may be asking yourself. They're the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. For example, the number 48 has two significant figures. SF stands for significant figures. The numbers 1, 2, 5, 6, 9 has five significant figures. The number 7, 3, 2 has three significant figures. Rule number two deals with zeros. Zeros at the beginning of a number are never ever ever significant. Examples 0 0.023 there are two zeros at the beginning of that number even though there's a zero behind the decimal it is not significant. So there are only two significant figures in the number 0 0.023. 0 0.04 has only one significant figure. 0 0.00892 has three significant figures. Again, rule number two, zeros at the beginning of a number, all zeros that come before the first non-zero digit are not significant. Rule three deals with zeros. Zeros in between non-zero digits are always significant. Some textbooks may refer to them as trapped zeros. Examples. The number 103, as you notice, there's a zero that's trapped between the 1 and the 3, has three significant figures. The numbers 94002 has two zeros. They are both trapped in between the 4 and the 2. So they are significant. It has five significant figures. And 8700006 has eight significant figures. It does not matter how many zeros are trapped, but if they are trapped or in between two non-zero digit numbers, they are significant. Rule number four deals with zeros. Zeros at the end of a number are only significant if there is a decimal in the number. I'll repeat that again. Zeros at the end of a number, or sometimes called trailing zeros, are only significant if there is a decimal someplace in the number. It has to be visible. For example, the number 500.0, there are four significant figures. There is a decimal that's present there that makes all the zeros at the end significant. The number 42.00 has four significant figures. The numbers 330.00 has five significant figures. Again, zeros at the end of a number are only significant if you see a decimal. Examples. The number 1010 only has one significant figure because there is not a visible decimal. The number 200-200 only has one significant figure because there is not a visible decimal. The number 400-400 with a decimal at the end, those zeros at the end are significant because there is a decimal present. More examples. 0 0.0430. These are mixtures of the different rules. It only has three significant figures. Remember, zeros at the beginning of a number are never ever significant. Zeros at the end of a number are significant if you see a decimal. The number 97.050 has five significant figures. This zero here is trapped. It's in between two non-zero digits. This zero is at the end and there is a visible decimal so all of the digits are significant. The number 0.0048030 has five significant figures. The three zeros at the beginning 
are not significant. The zero here is trapped, and the zero here at the end is a number with the present decimal. So one, two, three, four, five significant figures. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope that you will have fun being able to calculate the number of significant figures in a number.